What's up guys? Welcome back to the Daily Misfire and today I'm going to give you the second project car update for the Nova, the Corotta Files. Let's get it. Okay, so now I actually have a plan. Yeah, I didn't really have a plan before this whole debacle started with the Nova. Um, I knew the heads were coming off. I knew the engine was coming out of the car. I knew I was getting new tires for the back of the car. I was gonna have tuner slicks in the back. Um, and that was kind of all I had planned. Um, then the rear end came out of the car. The transmission came out of the car. It's getting, it, had a, it has a shifter now. Um, yeah, so it's kind of, escalated into a lot of other things so but now I have a plan and I understand of what I'm all what everything's gonna be happening and what will happen to the car now so let me take you in there and show you right now yeah so first first thing I'm showing you is the new intake that we're gonna be running on the car which new to me it's you know 20 year old intake but it's still the same design as, as it is now we're gonna be running an Edelbrock Torque or two on the car now. We're going to a single plane instead of the dual plane because I have a uh, performer RPM EPS on it currently. Um, so this will help me get a few, uh, more torque and more horsepower at the top end, of, top end of the RPM range. Um, it's moving it up a little bit more. But this will give more torque, more RPM, all that good stuff for the car. Um, then, because the car will be running into the 13s, I got a new helmet, yeah. Well, this is my first helmet, really, technically, but yeah. So, I have that now, it's a Zamp, which I've never heard of that company before, but I dig the color and I dig the USA. It fits the car perfectly. I feel like it's, you know, straight out of 1975, 76, so it's perfect. Um, next, there's the rear end. So, you saw me pull the rear end out of the car before. Um, probably that was last week I think or a week before um, but before it was a 273 open diff rear end as you can see now that is a 355 po Eaton Posi um, unit with the stock um, axles in it but that's a 355 rear gear with a Posi now it's going to be getting disc brakes that's what those are for um, it'll be getting disc brakes in the rear rear end and then I'm gonna have this just uh, this, this rear end cover on the car which is the whole reason why I actually haven't put the that's why the rear end still sitting right here because that came off my uh, 64 Skylark and the studs these are for the stud girdle these are the actual studs that make that whole thing the reason for that whole thing and one of them broke so we had to order special order a set of these from from B and M, so we're waiting on those. Those should be here this week sometime. Um, but while we're waiting on that, I got the transmission in. The shifters in the car now. Um, it's a B and it's a B and M uh, Pro Stick. That's that's for the Turbo 350. So that's all plugged in and wired. I just have to adjust it just a little bit more. Um, then once we get the rear end in the car with that, then we're going to measure up for. Uh, my drive shaft hoop because you need a drive shaft hoop when the car is faster than thirteen ninety nine, um, which the car is already faster than that, and I've made passes that are under fourteen. But we're not going to talk about that. Um, so that's what's going on on the back end of the car. Then I had stock, just stock lift uh, rocker arms on the car before, and I have I've had these forever, but I never like decided to run these with the car until now. Now that we're doing all this other stuff, give me a second. Okay. Um, I have these Comp Cam 1.6 roller rockers. So we're going to be running those on the car now. Which that should free up the top end of the valve train and make it a little bit wider. Um, try to get rid of some of the valve clatter that the stock lifters have. Um, we're going to be doing that. It's going to have a new water pump on it, which is the whole reason for this whole debacle that it started anyway. Um, you can watch a past episode for that. But 
So that that's happening with that. The heads are still not back yet, but um, I'm going to be getting new. Well, what's ended up happening to those is they're going to get new valve K liners, which is for the valve seats and the seals. Um, getting all new valve seals, valve seats, and they're getting uh, probably going to get swirl, going to get swirled dished valves in it, and then they're going to cut a little bit out of the valve pockets, so that way it'll make a little bit more power and be um, be able to flow a lot better than it was before. So the so between all of that garbage that the car is going to be having, you know, between the gears, posi, my 235-60-15s that I have for the back of the car, the heads, the shifter, I'm thinking the car is probably going to be a low, a mid to low 13 second car, which will be a really fun little street car to have. Um, I am waiting on other stuff to happen before I buy shocks, but that will be happening as soon as the rest of the stuff gets done. Um, but I think that's pretty much the main plan for the, for the car. Um, I ordered a hoop for the car, which I'm not sure if I'm going to be putting in yet. But um, I ordered it just so that I have it. So then that way I can have shoulder belts, shoulder harnesses in the car instead of... Um, there you go. Um, that way I can have shoulder harnesses in the car instead of just having lap belts because that's what I have right now. And those aren't very safe and the hoop would help if, you know... I decided if the car decided to roll or something stupid happened. Um, that's really dark. Uno momento. Okay, maybe. There. Okay. So, that's kind of the plan. We might be putting the hoop in. If we put the hoop in, the car's, the interior's gonna have to come back out again. That's already happened once because I put the insulation in the car, but. It's, you know, there's not much else to do right now other than do tear my car apart and put it back to the other and turn it apart again. So that's kind of it. The next episode is actually going to be me working on the car and that's going to be me probably assembling my rear end and then putting it in the car. Then hopefully whenever the heads get here, I'll finish putting my in engine together. And then once we get the engine back together, then it's going to go in the car. And once we do that, then we're going to be making some music and probably do some good burnouts and we're going to go fast as soon as the racetrack opens back up. So that's kind of the plan. Um, that's kind of the plan. So we'll see if I can, well, it's going to happen. So we're not even going to say we'll see. It's going to happen. It's going to be good. I'm excited. I'm very excited about all this. It's going to be great. Mint. On that note, check in next week or whenever I post the next episode um, of the Corona Files. Later. <laughs>